as a content creator myself, I constantly deal with multiple project files. Sometimes a project might contain somewhere between 100 and 200 files, a mix between footage from numerous cameras and recorders, as well as archived files. The complexity of a workflow like this translates to inevitable duplicate file names and occasional accidental wrong file replacements. As much as I try to be careful, I've had more than one instance where I would overwrite a vital footage file by accident. However, overwriting a file on a Mac doesn't necessarily mean that you have deleted the original one. Hitting the replace button when pasting deletes the file's name and thumbnail, but the actual data that the file contains is stored on the drive for a while, which means there's still time and a chance to bring it back. Using macOS's Time Machine feature is one way to restore overwritten files, but if you're like me and don't use Time Machine, don't worry. There is an even lighter and more flexible solution in the form of a simple to use app called Disk Drill. Disk Drill can scan any disk and partition to detect damaged or deleted data and recover lost files. The app can be conveniently downloaded via setup. Once installed, it performs an initial mapping and scan of the system, after which Disk Drill is ready to use. The app provides various valuable features like monitoring disk health, creating bootable drive, and even doing a data backup. But today, I'd like to focus on the recovery file feature. In my example, I'm looking for a video file from one of my previous projects, and I need to restore it before it's lost. To start the process, I'll fire up Disk Drill and select which disk I need to recover from. In my case, the files are on an external SSD. The app will scan for corrupted and deleted files and a series of drop-down menus will narrow down the results for me. Before digging into all the drop-downs though, I do a quick search with the file name in question. Since Disk Drill has a very comprehensive built-in search, the chance is that it will display what I'm looking for quite quickly. Once the results are displayed, the sidebar is a great way to filter the files by type if there are many results to choose from. In my case, I'm looking for a video file, so I'll select the video category and take it from there. Now I know that the file that I was looking for initially was in my studio projects folder, so I'll open the folder and after going through the results, I can finally say, voila, here is my original footage. Disk Drill is an intelligent software and apart from recovering lost and overwritten files, it is also a great way to maintain the overall storage of my device. For example, the Disk Space Analyzer can check the Mac hard drive space and map it out to show files eating up disk space. That's extremely helpful if you opted for a smaller hard drive when you purchased your Mac. In addition, the Find Duplicates feature can further help me optimize the disk space by showcasing duplicate files scattered around. With the Pro version of Disk Drill, you can unleash the app's full potential and even perform deep scans on a binary level. Your setup membership will give you the complete access to the app, so you don't have to pay a steep subscription fee. What's more, setup will provide you with an access to another 200 plus apps to complete all sorts of tasks for your Mac. Just install it by clicking the link in the video description. You'll even get a free trial period to try everything out. In order to find an app, just type your task in the search bar and setup will suggest the most appropriate solution for you. If you have any questions about what I just showed you, let's chat in the comments and until next time.